Well, hello, I'm Robert, and along with Nellie, Emily, Derek, and Sheila, welcome uh, to Team 3 Ag Tech's uh, presentation on AI in agriculture. Uh, the things we'll be talking about uh, is a quick introduction uh, to AI in agriculture. Uh, then we're going to take a look at the types of AI available uh, on into the future through to 2025. Uh, and then we're going to focus in on the benefits uh, that AI provides in agriculture. Then we'll, then we'll take a look at what that impact is to traditional uh, agricultural business models. Uh, and then we'll finish with our strategic recommendation uh, for AI use in agriculture. All right, let's start with an introduction. Introduction to artificial intelligence in agriculture. Picture the following scenario. A drone with a special camera flies low over 150 acres of wheat. This drone is able to check each stalk one by one, spotting the beginning of a fungal infection that could potentially threaten this year's crop. Now this drone is empowered by computer vision, a kind of artificial intelligence being developed by startup companies around the world. The scenario that we have just discussed is a clear example of artificial intelligence in agriculture. Artificial intelligence in agriculture was introduced due to population growth, food security, and climate change. Agriculture turned to artificial intelligence in order to yield healthier crops, control pests, monitor soil and growing conditions, organize data for farmers, and improve a wide range of agricultural related tasks in the supply chain. The incorporation of AI into the farming process has significantly assisted in overcoming labor shortage, reducing the adverse effects on the environment, and increasing productivity and profits. Now, the most popular applications of artificial intelligence are agricultural robotics, such as Blue River Technology and Harvest C. ROO robotics, crop and soil monitoring such as PEAT, Transgenomics, and Sky Squirrel Technologies Inc., and predictive analysis such as AWARE and farm stocks. As we can see in the chart below, AI in agricultural market or region, artificial intelligence in agriculture market size was estimated at $590 million in 2017, and it is expected to be worth $2.6 billion by 2025. This is according to markets and markets. AI available by 2025. The rise in the adoption of agricultural robots in farming is increasing productivity and increasing crop health. These are the major factors contributing to the demand for AI. Another reason for the fast-paced growth of AI in the agricultural markets can be attributed to the demand for agricultural or food production due to the continuously increasing population sizes, the implementation of information management systems, the techniques being used with technology to improve crop growing and harvesting productivity. Machine learning enabled solutions are quickly becoming adopted by agricultural groups and by farmers to enhance their farm's productivity and to gain a competitive advantage in business management and operation models. It is predicted that the use of machine learning and implementation of computers in multiple agricultural practices are expected to rise drastically by the year 2025. The machine learning technology is estimated to lead the AI in the agricultural market. The rising implementation of machine learning technology by farmers in the industry across the world is a major factor fueling the demand. Machine learning lets farmers in the industry make better decisions based on data sourced in real time. Precision farming is another technology that is driving the growth of AI helping make traditional agricultural activities more efficient and predictable. 
The growth in this section is due to increasing focus on farm productivity and the need to improve the quality of the food produced. <clears throat> Among the available types of AI, the staples of the industry will continue to be available, but will continue to be enhanced as the segment of the industry continues to grow and increases their demand for AI. This includes, but is not limited to, precision farming, livestock monitoring, drone analytics. I will be sharing four benefits of using AI in agriculture. The four benefits include increasing environmental sustainability, increase in efficiencies in production, increase in data insights, and to reduce pressures from labor shortages. The first benefit is the increase in, in environment sustainability. Precision agriculture is a strategy used to assist farmers in making decisions. The basics are to use AI to make the right plan at the right time using the right product. One way AI increases environmental sustainability is in the reduction of the use of pesticides and herbicides. The use of AI can reduce these two by 80% of what is used currently. Drones and the use of AI can be used to detect weeds and insects, as well as identify the type and treatment plan. Pesticides and herbicides can be used in minimal quantities to treat the affected area versus treating the entire field. AI assists with proper crop rotation in knowing what crops can be planted after others in order to reduce the decline of bad soil from monocropping. Soil sensors assist in increasing our sustainability by monitoring the pH balance, the nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus levels, as well as other nutrient deficiencies in the soil. More targeted treatment can be applied versus mass use of fertilization, thus decreasing the use of fertilization by 40% compared to current. By the year 2050, our world population is expected to grow by 2 billion while only seeing a 4% increase in land available for cultivation. How will we secure a 50% increase in food needs? More food will need to come from an increase in efficiencies in farming and production of food. Drones will be used for early detection of disease and nutrient deficiencies by examining the leaves of the plants. These Pictures will then be compared to databases housing what leaves should look like at each stage of plant growth. Drones will also be used to detect pest infestations and weed growth. Quickly controlling these will increase product yields. Robots use GPS, machine visioning, and smart sensors to be able to detect when there are problems with plants, such as carbon dioxide increases, temperature changes, and to determine when food is ripe and ready for harvest. Robots will have bionic arms that can gently pick or harvest the fruits and vegetables. There will need to be a growth in greenhouses and indoor farming to help feed the world by 2050. These indoor farms will use a lot of AI, including sensors, robots, and control of lighting to speed or slow down growth of the plants. Precision agriculture using AI is expected to increase yields by 30 to 40% per hectare. The use of AI will yield not only more at harvest, but also a lot less waste. The improved quality, quantity, and speed to market of agriculture products using AI will assist the world in securing adequate amounts of food. The third benefit from AI in agriculture is an increase in data insights. Large data warehouses will have historical, current, and future trends to create predictive models as well as seasonal forecasts. Did you know 90% of crop loss is weather related? These predictive models will be able to provide weather trends, predict temperatures, precipitation amounts, wind speed and direction, as well as solar and photosynthetic radiation. The data insights will help farmers know when the right time to plant and harvest is. Data insights will be used to track marketplace trends, price expectations, consumer needs and demands. This type of information will allow farmers to choose the best crops and seeds to meet consumer demands. Data insights will also provide maps of terrain, drainage patterns during rainstorms and spatial relationships necessary to produce the highest yields. The optimization in planning using the data insights information will lead to an increase in production and higher yields. 
Lastly, the use of AI in agriculture will greatly reduce the pressure seen from agricultural labor shortages. AI will assist in reducing the labor shortage through the use of autonomous farm machinery, drones, robots, and chatbots. Autonomous farm machinery is the equipment and machinery such as tractors, planters, and spreaders. This machinery will be able to self-attach to pull equipment behind the tractor. The machinery will be able to be used during preseason preparedness, such as plowing or turning the soil, planting, and harvesting without the need for a human to drive the tractors or hook up equipment. Drones and robots are able to cover much more area than humans and do so much more quickly. Drones and robots can be used to monitor 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for 52 weeks a year. Drones and robots also don't mind monotonous or intense difficult work. Robotics can work eight acres in a single day, which would take 30 humans to complete in the same amount of time. Please click the link below to see how robots will be used to monitor indoor farming. Chatbots for agriculture will be similar to Alexa in a home. The agricultural chatbots will be able to provide specific answers to agricultural questions and provide suggestions or agricultural questions and provide suggestions or solutions to situations farmers are experiencing. Now we're going to take a look at the impact uh, AI has on traditional agricultural business models. And we'll specifically look at partners, uh, activities, resources, costs, the value proposition, uh, as well as sources of revenue. Now, I'm using the business model canvas as a layout to show the different components of just a generic, traditional agricultural business model. And let's take a look at, you know, first, the traditional model with the value proposition. So good taste, healthy food, consistent quality, uh, reliable supply, and a low cost. And now let's go over to the right to the customer relationship. So the customer relationships through advertising, through a sales force, uh, and potentially through direct retail if they happen to have a store you know, there at the farm. Uh, the channels that they reach their customers are through wholesale and potentially through direct sales. Uh, and then the customer segments they service, wholesalers, uh, grocery stores, food packagers, uh, farmers markets, and uh, of course the retail customer. And where their revenue comes from, mostly from probably a wholesale produce sales uh, and potentially uh, direct if they have an on-site uh, retail store. So let's take a look at the key partners, activities, and resources uh, that farms need. So on the partnering side, equipment manufacturers, uh, seed suppliers and nurseries for the plants, uh, chemical companies, so pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, uh, and the transportation to get the produce to market, uh, and weather services to keep them informed about conditions. Some of the key activities are all around the, the growing cycle, planting, irrigation, managing health through pest, weed, disease control, testing the soil as well as testing the plants to see when they're ready, then harvesting, uh, packing, and transport. Uh, and finally, the key resources, those irrigation systems, uh, tractors and harvesters, uh, packing equipment, uh, and the delivery trucks. What the farmers pay for, uh, you know, the plants and seeds, uh, labor, uh, chemicals, the pesticides and fertilizers, uh, equipment, the land and associated costs, uh, as well as the buildings and utilities. Now, now let's take a look at how AI changes the business model in agriculture. So I've highlighted either changes or new things in red on this business model canvas. So we'll still have weather services, but with AI and computational power, we'll be able to take advantage of a lot more data from that weather service and look historically and look at all kinds of variables and come up with much better estimates and much better uh, suggestions for farming. Uh, also the software uh, companies that are going to provide uh, the AI and those capabilities are going to be partners and now with sensors uh, and software and things needing to talk, the cellular networks are going to be more important. Some of the key activities, again, taking care of the plants, um, but now um, pests control, weed and disease control, uh, you know, that can be monitored uh, as well as testing through either drones uh, equipped with cameras or various sensors or uh, stationary uh, testing uh, monitoring stations. Now, looking at the key resources, we'll still have irrigation systems and tractors and harvesters, uh, but with AI, we'll be able to use them more intelligently, only irrigate areas that need it, only utilize uh, tractors and harvesters on 
areas where the produce is ready to be harvested. Of course, the AI and data science is going to be a big part of that resource. And then collecting all this information, drones and monitoring stations are going to be another key resource. Now looking at the cost structure, we'll still have labor. We may need less with automation, but it will also change. We'll need more technology and software skills to work with uh, the AI as well as the uh, drones and sensors. Of course, equipment will be more uh, computers are needed. And utilities, in addition to simple water and power, uh, network and wireless will become more important, and maybe even solar power uh, to keep the sensors and drones charged. Now we look at the value proposition, we'll still have consistent quality, reliable supply and low cost, uh, but with better yield and better decisions through AI, all of those will be improved. Uh, and with our lower cost, we can either be lower cost to market or a higher margin for the farmers. Uh, and finally, it'll be greener. Um, our ability to choose where to irrigate rather than blanket irrigating or where to put herbicides and pesticides rather than blanketing fields uh, with chemicals. So we'll save water, we'll reduce our chemical usage, uh, and using drones rather than tractors and, and trucks to go out and monitor fields will reduce emissions as well. Uh, and then finally, we'll look at revenue streams. And so um, with all the data that we have and with an army of drones, uh, we have the ability uh, to basically share that. So if I had an apple orchard and I had a non-competing farm next to me, you know, like a cornfield, um, I could rent out my drones or utilize those services. Now, some of the things, some of the software and weather services are probably done by license and so may not be directly shareable, but hardware like a drone uh, it may be able to cover my entire farm in a few hours uh, and do all of its monitoring tasks. And then I have the whole rest of the day that that could be rented out or shared with another farm. Now let's look at who benefits from AI and agriculture. The places we're seeing a good fit is high volume, large land area, corporate farms, uh, places where drones can monitor hundreds of acres, where sensors can report back uh, soil and water data from miles away. Um, they can take advantage of that scale. Uh, also strong financials, obviously the capital outlay for the equipment, but also the ability to hire uh, the folks that can operate uh, the technical equipment like drones or handle the computer operations. Where it doesn't fit, smaller specialized niche farms, maybe a small heirloom tomato uh, farm that sells to local shops, something a farmer can walk uh, in the morning. They don't need an army of drones. Uh, they're not going to have the skill sets to operate uh, the technology and the computers. Uh, and from uh, the ability to have capital, capital uh, to invest in this kind of uh, equipment. Uh, not only that, it increases the risk. If they had of a bad harvest from a weather event, um, rather than just cutting back on labor, they have a huge investment in capital they still have to maintain. Based on the information that our group was able to obtain regarding the impact of artificial intelligence on the agriculture industry, we came to the recommendation that more organizations in agriculture should implement AI into their operations. There were three key components that we looked at as our justification for making this recommendation. The first component is that artificial intelligence provides a solution to current labor challenges in agriculture. The second was that artificial intelligence systems can improve harvest quality and overall efficiency. Last, cost benefit analysis suggests favorable ratios for long term financial performance. Looking at these three elements, we were able to provide the justification that artificial intelligence not only benefits the company by improving their operational activities, but also benefits the consumer by way of making the product more accessible and a better quality. The first area we look at as justification for our recommendation is the current labor challenges seen in the agricultural industry. As we did our research, we were under the impression originally that the workforce could be seeing opportunities taken away because of the implementation of artificial intelligence. However, studies have shown that there's been a decline in workforce as more people live in the city in rural and rural farming areas. Therefore, the implementation of artificial intelligence is actually a benefit to these areas because it allows business continuity without interruption due to the lack of employees available to harvest these areas. In addition to solving the issue of having 
a shortage in the workforce area, agricultural bots have also been proven to increase volume in harvesting crops while reducing production time. This lends itself as being an increase in efficiency for the company. In addition to the efficiency seen by these agricultural bots, we also see that these bots provide virtually a 24-hour labor workforce without interruption. Based on the fact that they are robots and need little or no downtime aside from repairs and maintenance, these agricultural bots make it possible to have work being done literally around the clock without any downtime. The second area we look at as justification for our recommendation is the improvement of harvest quality and overall efficiency seen in the systems when using artificial intelligence. Sensors on agricultural bots can detect critical items such as disease in the harvest, presence of pests, poor growing conditions such as subpar soil and even unseasonable weather conditions. What this allows the user to do is avoid defects that would reach the end user had they not been caught earlier. It also helps to eliminate waste because those crops that are not growing as well as we would like are stopped and not yielded any further. Therefore, we're able to treat this situation and provide the exact amounts of herbicides necessary for those specific conditions to continue the growth opportunities and improve those opportunities. In doing so, we not only provide a better quality for our customers, but we also increase our efficiency by eliminating the ability to grow products that are ultimately waste and maximize on our opportunities to get rid of the waste and replant or even shift product availability that we provide to our vendors. Just as we would see in any other for-profit business model, the goal in agricultural industry is to maximize profit. As such, our third justification for our recommendation is based off of the cost-benefit analysis. Based off of cost-benefit analysis, we see signs of favorable ratios for long-term financial performance. Despite the repairs, maintenance, and initial investment costs, that are implemented by using this artificial intelligence, the long-term savings in areas such as compensation and benefits due to not needing manual labor and the favorability seen in revenue, we're able to offset those costs and see increased profits in the industry. As we've already mentioned, the elimination of waste as well as the reduction or elimination of lead time and downtime in our operations allows the opportunity for us to maximize our revenue, maximize our profits, reduce our costs and expenses, reduce waste, and reduce the need for additional labors. By doing so, what we've done is we've taken our model and maximized all of the areas of opportunity that we have and made them as efficient as possible to yield the best harvest and the best profit possible for this industry. Based on this ability to maximize profit in conjunction with tackling the workforce items that we previously mentioned with our declining workforce opportunities and also providing a greater harvest and a better harvest for our end users, we have provided justification and continue to support our recommendation that artificial intelligence should be implemented in more organizations in the agriculture industry.